Hi guys, it's a beautiful morning right here at the farm. Lovely weather. I'm enjoying it. And there's quite a lot happening around. I'd never shown you guys, but we actually do have free range rabbits on the farm. You remember that this area where I am used to be a paddock where we were just keeping birds. Are birds kept inside the paddock? No. <laughs> well, we have two chicken houses over here. One right there and another right here. First, we started by keeping our dual purpose buds inside here. There were quite a number. So we kept the dual purpose buds in the bigger house that's over there. Uh, that's probably about 8 meters, maybe. Yeah. I think 8 meters by 20 in length. And then we kept the local buds inside here. These were houses made from really scrap material. Scrap, easy to build material. And they are perfect houses. But then we got rid of all the dual purpose buds and then we wanted to get rid of all the fall and the poultry in this region. So we decided to build another region around the farm where we can move all the fall over there. I.e. all the free range buds, the guinea fowls that we do have here, the geese, move them over there. And we are actually almost there. The only missing link is that we don't have accommodation over there. We haven't built a chicken house and right there it's quite unsafe for the rest of the birds to live there because it's a pond and uh, if there is no accommodation it's a bit wild it's a bit a little bit isolated from the rest of the farm so we need proper accommodation over there for the animals do you call it accommodation you call it housing right we need proper housing for the animals over there because if we don't have proper housing we're going to have danger with wild animals coming in so that's what we are left with doing but we finished the fencing and also the other thing left is trimming down the bushes because from the last time we did it it has grown back again and currently it's been really really raining as you might see in the background and where I am there's lots of grass you know the grass comes up really quickly you slash it and it's up really quickly it's just a week ago or so that we slashed this place but already the grass is growing up quickly well we decided to bring in rabbits and currently they are living in this exact area together with the rest of the poultry that we still do have so let me show you exactly what we have around here right there you can see our free range chickens you do remember that this cock over there you see the big cock he was a sexing error or what we would call a sexing error from our layer chickens but he has given us really really good chickens so you can see the females those are the colored females those are the original females we have but you can see the offspring the offspring is all the white little chickens that you see in the compound you know uh, let's move around and i'll show you more of them yeah all the white literally all the chickens running around are offspring of our sexing errors you see them and whoa we have an egg here what's an egg doing over here looks like a chicken egg certainly a chicken egg i don't know what it's doing over here ah and it's still very okay it's not spoiled. I don't know what an egg is doing over here. I'll leave it. I'll probably pick it a little bit later on. Um, then we can move around. Recently we had a storm on the farm and it threw down this tree. Luckily enough it didn't fall on the fence over there. But again when we move closer you can see the rest of the chickens that we have. They're all white in color. Well apart from the originals you know on the farm. There's a few originals and take a look at what I'm talking about. That's one of the rabbits on the farm yeah so it's a new zealand white it's one of 12 rabbits that we have around on the farm and you can see it feeding i don't know if the rabbit is male or female at this point i'm not able to differentiate whether they are male or female but yeah they are moving around in the grass and as you can see it's really grassland it's bushy and we've given them the freedom to move around now of course you'll have questions of whether it is sustainable and viable to have rabbits on a free range system and of course i also do have the same questions i've tried to do some research around of course growing up in a lot of our neighborhoods we actually had our rabbits on a free range system they'll just grow up and move up around home but that's really really few currently we only have 12 on this farm and we want to grow them but how do we know if we never experiment it's not like i've seen lots of other people doing it everyone else does it on you know cages they put the rabbits on cages and of course it's difficult for the liters the tiny liters of the rabbits to grow on a free range system so our plan is that when it reaches the point where they are about to give birth 
then we prepare cages for them and they will live in cages. But right now they can free range and then when they grow up we can get them out of the cages and let them free range. It's simply for us to get a sustainable means of having meat. Considering we have all the land around, you know, all the land around, we wouldn't want to keep buying meat. And rabbits are very, very, very tasty and they're a beautiful source of meat. So for us it just makes sense to you know, try it out. It's just worth trying it out. That's what we are doing right now. Now also over here you can see our other rabbits. This is also a New Zealand white next to a chicken. Beautiful view right there, isn't it? A few chickens right here. Another rabbit right here. Moving right along the fence. I don't know the breed of this one. The other one was a New Zealand white. This one is grey. It's a very deep tinge of grey. Yeah. At first I thought it was like Flemish, but then it's too dark for it to be a Flemish. So I'm sure it's not a Flemish. Uh, if we move around, you can see a bit more of our birds. This is a broiler breeder. Yeah, it's a sexing error among this, the broiler breeders. You can see how big he is. Really, really big. And he's all paused. <laughs> you might think he's not alive. Hey, come on. Oh, he's trying to fight my leg. Take a look at that. Huh? He's like, who are you? Who do you think you are? I look like a threat to him. <laughs> this is really interesting. Anyway, I'll let him go. Not stress him off. Then here you can see the rest of our birds. Some of them are also breeding errors. And then some of them are offspring of the... For example, you see the one running in the background? Yeah? That's a sexing error. That's one of our sexing errors. But then some of them over here, for example, this brown one, the two brown ones are the originals, you know, they are the originals on the farm. They have been here among us the longest buds. Then some of the smaller ones, for example, that one there on the side, she's the offspring of the sexing era, the male sexing era, the one that I showed you right at the beginning of the video. Um, this is also a sexing era. He's not a sexing error, he's actually just a weak bird. You know, among our male breeders, the layer breeders, you'll occasionally have some that are really, really weak. And the weak ones we get out because, you know, we don't want them to breed and cross with the rest of the birds. So we'll get them out, let them to free range, and then we can eat them later on. This section of the farm is really isolated from the rest of the breeder houses. So. It ensures that despite the fact that there is a bit of free range happening over here, the risk of contamination and transfer of disease to the other poultry houses is really, really minimized. The staff, the individual who works inside here, never comes in any contact with the rest of the places. He only lives in here. Now, for example, I've been here and I've spent my time here. I can't dare to go to any of the breeder houses, you know. I wouldn't dare go to any of the breeder houses because it would pose some form of biosecurity risk to the rest of the farm. So the other advantage is that we don't have people moving in and out of the farm, no. People consistently stay here. The staff who work here stay here. When they move out, it's once in a while and proper biosecurity measures are taken when they are coming in to ensure that we don't have any issues in terms of like disease and stuff like that. And over here, you can see our furring birds. You can see the guinea fowls running away. For some reason, they never love it when I get close to them. But you can see the rest of the chickens feeding over here. Um, they are furring birds. And you can see the mixtures <laughs> in terms of genes. Everything is mixed. And over here, we just have, you know, a few leftovers of food, tomatoes, eggs, potatoes, rice, anything really. Just gets thrown over here and they can enjoy it just like we saw it right at the beginning. Now, this is leftover food. And this is, um, well, I would say West commercial food. If I come close, when we are mixing feed inside the feed mill of our poultry house, you'll have a few things that will pour to the ground, and you know, so that means they're a bit dirty, and uh, they can't be given to the to the breeder birds or the commercial birds, whichever it doesn't matter where you are. So what we do is that we bring them over here and pour them over here, then the free range birds can enjoy this. That way, feeding the free range birds becomes a completely zero cost for us because we are not spending any money feeding them. So this is the house where they are staying. Ideally, it's a poultry house. And we are supposed to make a concrete floor inside there, but we haven't. Let, let's get in, let's get in. You know? uh, we'll get in. And you can see the rabbits over inside here. 
they actually live with chickens inside here it's beautiful isn't it you can see some chickens that are brooding over here ah that one i think i i think those ones are just come to lay they are not brooding because getting close to them they have run away and there's even not a single egg so they have come to lay eggs that one you can see the way the wings are spread out um the feathers it's certainly brooding some eggs over there we can move away this one also looks like they are brooding some eggs over here yeah those two have run away but they'll certainly go back and then you can see that they're eating some leaves so these are leaves you know they're just weeds that you just move around in the compound and find and then we cut so you can see that that looks more flemish like you know that rabbit looks more flemish like the other one is certainly a new zealand white the other one is also a new zealand white the one at the end over there you know that over there looks flemish like and then these ones are also new zealand whites and the flemish you know you can see them so in total we have about 12 rabbits and inside here we have four chickens i don't know i don't want to get close to them they are very alert i don't know if they are laying or they are incubating if they are incubating i would get close because that wouldn't be an issue if they're just laying eggs then my getting close will really distort them um, so this is the rabbit we have as you can see the floor hasn't been concreted and of course that's not a good thing because that means the chickens are going to be barreling out and moving out this one over here was also actually still laying it wasn't incubating yeah because it only has four eggs and it has moved away it wasn't it wasn't um, incubating it was just laying but we're going to make the floor concreted that way the, the birds can't burrow out just like we've done at the fence let's move over to the fence and i'll show you what we've done there you can see our fence right here so it runs the entire length of the unit and it runs and covers the area all around the chicken was chasing a rat by the way you see the rat running into the distance we actually do have cuts around to help with the rat. Unfortunately, the cuts maybe haven't discovered that we have rats inside here. But you can see the fence and we built this form of concrete-like boundary to prevent the rabbits from burrowing outwards, yeah? So they certainly can burrow inside here and we've already noticed they are started to burrow in some areas and maybe they want to produce. So we'll have to work on that to make sure that they don't produce in burrows but at least they won't be able to burrow outside. So number one, as you might see, we have a bit of, you know, concrete poured right here. Then you can see that in this fence, we actually have chicken mesh. You see the chicken netting? So we have the normal chain link on the outside, that, which is that bigger line. Then we have the chicken netting to prevent them from going out. And then the other thing that we did is that we actually dug downwards. So the fence doesn't stop just here. As you might see, this fence is actually, I think, a six foot fence. But over here, we have only maybe about four feet. So we put two feet under the ground and we put more mesh, more of the chicken mesh. Of course, the chicken mesh would rust, yeah? But we put more of the mesh and the and the bigger mesh you know the chain link mesh down into the ground at least two feet so if the rabbits had to burrow to get out they would have to be really really focused about it and very determined because it wouldn't be very easy and most probably by the time they would burrow to get out we would have noticed that you know they are burrowing because you know we are always consistently moving around to make sure that everything is intact and they are not getting out so yeah guys that's our free range rabbit project of course we have geese on the inside here and the rest of the animals but like i said we're going to be moving them away hopefully soon you know a farm is is not like you know any other business there's too much going on and there's a lot of things that keep changing very quickly and many times what you plan to happen usually doesn't end up happening we thought that we would have moved earlier but well, it's turned out that we haven't yet moved because of a lot of other things that need to be done but hopefully very soon we shall be doing the moving so if you haven't hit that subscribe button come on hit it smash that notification bell that way you never miss out on an upload lots of love catch you very soon with another video bye, -bye.